Good morning, welcome to Keto Slim and Rolled Rocks, and this is Slim Chat. No more to be dubbed Fat Chat because I'm doing really well on the diet. Yesterday we had a roast, and um, I think that I had. I'm sorry, I've got something stuck. <laughs> Gary made me breakfast, and I have some bacon in my tooth. I can't get it out. Um, so uh, yeah, yesterday we had a roast, and I think I know that I had a few things that were, I'd say, a smidge over the carb count. So, I mean, I had a little bit of swede and a little bit of parsnip. And I know those two were a little bit over the carb count. And I had some celeriac. Um, and I have documented what celeriac does to me. So, uh, but I have to use up my celeriacs. So it's going to be a bit windy around here, unfortunately, but, you know, at least, at least Gary and I have no sense of smell. <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, small blessings. Thank you, COVID. Anyway, I've got to use them up, so <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Lower in the tone. So you might want to have a check out of the product I found yesterday when we went in our local farm shop. Now our local farm shop does have some, um, it prides itself on finding obscure products. And I don't mean that brogies are an obscure product, but they're new here or something. <laughs> so you don't see them everywhere. But I got by the checkout, there it was, big stand full of brogies, mini ones and big ones. So I've got the big ones. And I've been really impressed with them. So that is pretty good and it's good for vegans it's good for slimming world weight watchers and it's really good for people who low carb whichever umbrella you live under whether that's keto atkins or whatever even if you're doing the dukan diet or the gi diet any diet you like they are pretty decent so i shall try and make a few creative bits with them like the pizza and stuff like that at the moment all i've had is tried one with a kind of a a cream cheese that had chives and garlic and stuff in it like borsin or i know that you're probably supposed to say borsa but you know borsin or roulette one of those cheeses and mine was dairy free and i thought it's going to be disgusting but it actually tasted exactly the same. Made with coconut oil instead. But I have to say I really liked that. That weren't bad at all. Definitely cook with that. Because I used to slice up like a chicken breast. Cut it in the centre. Stuff in some of that cheese. Wrap it in bacon. Put like a bit of cheddar on it. And tin foil it up. Put it in the oven. And oh wow. Gorgeousness. So I haven't done that in a long time, but of course I couldn't really have proper cheese anymore. So I'm going to have pretend cheese that's got no dairy in it. It's not really pretend, I know, but dairy-free cheeses, they're the way to go. As long as they're not carby, because some of them are. But I read the packets. Well, it was came in a tub, this one. I got it in Tesco. If anybody's interested. Oh, I finally got it out. Mm, saved it for later on, see? Can't be bad. <laughs> the breakfast that likes to keep on giving. So yeah, check out the brogies if you're lucky enough to have them. But they do have a website where you can buy from them. I did notice though, I didn't have a really study that website because I've got some and I'll probably be able to get some more from the same shop. Um, that if you do buy them, they're in a great big box. So, you know, you might have more brogies than you bargain for. But they, I think they do have a good date on them. But this um, farm shop my mum used to frequent years ago. And it's grown from this little shed that had a, a stove burner in the middle. This guy called Eddie. So it's called Eddie's. That's not the name of it. But that's what we've always called it. Eddie's. And we used to go in there and it was bitterly cold. And there's this, this log burner in the centre. We all used to hop huddle around it to keep a bit warm. And she would like buy up a storm, my mum. She never knew when to stop. Always bought too much stuff. We threw away more than we ate. 
That was mum, see. I think my mum and everyone that was born in that generation had the war mentality, you know, where they'd been deprived for so long that <laughs> they were never going to be deprived again. So, that you know, they just bought loads and loads and loads. Christmas was like we had a family of 95 people, but they weren't really. You know, anyway, so um, that burnt down because that log burner, we often wonder if it was an insurance thing, but I didn't say that. Anyway, so he's now got this humongous thing and he does a lot of equestrian stuff in there and horse feed, loads and loads and loads of animal feeds, but I get my, my bird seed in there. Sometimes you get pretty good deal in supermarkets or Poundland for bird seed, but you know, they still got a scoop in there. But they do a lot of veggies, but they've got also one of the first places to get things like sugar-free biscuits were in there. Obviously can't have them anymore and that's not a bad thing. But there's this bakery that's up the road in a place called Laysdown and Laysdown Bakery have a stall in there. I have to say, as bakeries go, it's one of the best bakeries that I've ever, ever used. Um, can't really anymore because it's too fattening, you know. But they make the most amazing rolls, like Swiss roll cakes and their gattos and... All of their cakes, I have to say, are just fantastic. So obviously I just bread pudding as well, I have to say. So I really just go straight past that one down to try not to look. And then there's a meat counter, which is another, you know, it's not Eddie's. It's another concession in there, but they are. They have lovely great tea bones in there. And they, they do some really, really lovely meats. So it is a good, good shop, but... I always spend too much in there, not in mine, but not, not in quantity, you know, not like I'm feeding an army. I just can't resist the T-bone steaks. Anyway, I digress. But that's where I got my brogies. I've not seen them in any other shop, but then to be fair, I walk around with my eyes shut most of the time. You know, I do. And then something will catch my eye like that and I think, oh, wow, I did not seen that before. But I thought I'd share it anyway, because it is a, good little snack and I was always looking for sort of keto-y type snacks because you know I bought myself some things like tins of corned beef so I can open that and just have a chunk if I'm hungry or I bought some pastrami yesterday I don't like to eat processed meats too much though but I ate that last night I was starving well, I wasn't starving you never get starving on this diet but I was peckish and there was Gary tucking into his nuts and Christmas stuff that he got left over so I thought mm. I bought some mussels and they're frozen so I just get a few if I want and you know prawns and just put make a little seafood supper so yeah I've got a few bits now that I can chomp on should I get a little bit peckish but um, I think half the battle is knowing that you've got something there then you don't want it because you're not as hungry as you actually think you are but knowing you're deprived that's one of the worst things it's like oh I haven't got any snacks on therefore I'm hungry but, you know, there's always something. You can always scramble some egg, though it's not like the end of the world. You know, there's always a snack to be had somewhere if you really want to. But I used to just, in those little hunger moments, used to grab a piece of cheese. Well, obviously now I can't have dairy. I don't do that. But with brogies, I can just put... Not bogies, guys. Brogies. So um, with those, I can just spread some of that cheese on and I've got a little snacky poo that's really low carb and very very low calorie because you know i don't although i do low carb in i'm not one of these people that will sit there and add the fats they make me feel sick i can't do it like breakfast just now was a little bit it was lovely but at the end of it i started to feel like there's too much grease on this for me you know i just need it to be a little bit cleaner but it was gorgeous and um, i do thank gary for making it but i do like try and stay away from too much fat and I know it's not really the principles of the keto but it is for me it works so don't mess with the plan that works I say anyway so I've babbled on long enough I guess and um, not really got much to else to, to, to well, actually I have um, I haven't told you what I'm having today have I well we had some roast lamb left over so <clears throat> I'm gonna do just roast lamb veg but I won't be having any sweet or any parsnip it would just be um, sweetheart cabbage Brussels sprouts maybe if I can be bothered to boil them and some broccoli 
and baby corn because you can't have corn but you can have baby corn so I have the baby corn Gary has the corn so I shall just have that today he does make a mean gravy and that's probably the carbiest thing that I will have today but you can't go without gravy really can you if you if you if you kind of give up most things in life you you need something and you know his minty sauce gravy is just not not going to give that up even if I have a small amount anyway so I'm going to get off upload this and see what the day brings I will be doing a live stream over on crochet box later on heaven above knows what time it'll be but um if you've got your notifications on hopefully you get informed if not over on my other channel Rocksteady I have a little video that tells you how to reset your notifications but when I look at my analytics for Crochet Rocks for instance it tells me that how many people have rang the bell and there is fewer than half of my subscribers that have rung the bell and fewer uh, even still that have pressed um, all notifications so um, I think some people think they have and they obviously haven't never mind anyway thank you for watching stay safe everyone take care check out the brogies not bogies and um they are pretty damn good so thanks for watching bye for now everyone